basically got an understudy and she doesn't know that. Daniel spoke about bringing in another study, but I didn't think it was today. Oh my God, what is really going on? Hello. Why wouldn't be be able to make it gas? Why wouldn't be able to make it? Why, because, of, because of the weather? Oh boy. Okay, well, let me tell you. You know, we've been scheduled already, so that means Thursday you will have to be on board. Everybody will have to be on at rehearsal on Thursday. We have to make up for lost time. We were doing some warm-ups and she had a problem with my projection because I was wearing my mask so it wasn't projecting well and then she came across as if to say I'm not interested in the thing but I know I'm, it's not like I'm not interested so when she told me to remove the mask automatically I sounded louder and I think she was just not still impressed. Down so that we can get a projection because actually you know it's a muscle. One more, go. Friendship. Fun. Strength. My family. Happiness. Peace. Contentment. Victory. And I've been over it over and over, having the long lectures and stuff. Like I'm at a point where I'm like tired. I'm basically using one of those tricks out of the old book <laughs> and we got an understudy and she doesn't know that. Paulina, what's wrong with the scene? Well, actually, I, mean, I, I know it's supposed to turn out here. Let's take it from the end of the emotions, please. <laughs> Good night! Polina, you could you could come off the stage. I have an understudy for you today. Thanks. Sasha, can you go on stage please and fill in for the lines? Go ahead. My name is Sasha Polius. I am the understudy for Miss Joseph. It's an unfair advantage watching it on stage and seeing how I can fix it, but I see what needs to be fixed. I was shocked that um, an understudy was brought in. I know Daniel spoke about bringing in another study, but I didn't think it was today. The look on Polina's face, she was shocked and I'm like, why would you be shocked? We talked about that already and, um, you know, she got her fair share of warnings. She's doing these things for somebody in her position. I feel like, you know, you should know better than that. There are some things that you don't do or say and then there are situations where you have to 
deal with it better. It's it's not what you say, it's how you're saying it, right? And so I feel like she just forgets that sometimes and and then she lets her pride take over and then you have all of these you know, troublesome situation. So I just, I feel like it's been, it's been in the making for a little while, but it's a situation that she kind of created for herself, you know. I have some family function, so I didn't come. And then she's just getting on. So she, she I came this, this afternoon and she didn't say anything to me. So I was like, okay, and now she's just calling me off stage. She got an understudy. I did receive the script and I read through it, and I already get a feel of what she's not doing that I can do. What did she think an understudy is the way to go? Well, she can go ahead with it. I'll do my best. What am I to say? An understudy is an understudy. We pull, line up. pull up your socks. And I normally do my best at what I, I always do my best at what I do. It is what it is. It's it's theatre. <laughs> it happens, that's what the business is. You don't really always have the time to drag somebody behind you if they don't want to get up and walk. I wouldn't be here if she was better than me. If there's a position available, I will take the position. And you just come on stage like you own the stage. So I'm like, really? What's really going on? There'd be no need to call an understudy for that one role when everybody else's role seems to be secure. So then there's an issue there. I don't think she is usually deliberately trying to annoy Daniel when Daniel assumes that she is. I do feel sorry for Palina. Um, I think that she doesn't always understand Daniel. You will not indispensable, you're very much so um, replaceable when it comes to these sort of things and there's a certain um, aspect of respect that needs to be meted out. There's not only for the production but your cast members. I know that my girl will die soon you but see, another you see another attitude you have not been taken here. It's not taken away. Yeah. It, you come in, I try and remember this. You don't want to take the critique, this you don't want to listen, and it's, it's annoying you. The fact that she's saying that is annoying you. No, I, yeah, I realize I have to be a little bit more stringent, a little bit more assertive. Um, I know we're only about a week and a half out. Yeah, when you're doing stuff like that, you're making a problem for the whole group. No, so all of us are part no, of it. Like, this Dubois was not hearing anything. She's like, oh, I don't care. This is the time you cannot, cannot get out of this play. She will hunt you down. Do not even think of getting out of this play because she's going to come and look for you. They're going to come and say, so you feel like you're in this prison and you can't get out. Hi. My name is Sidil, and you may know some of my hits like this one. Don't play with man. Man pull up like ten bad man in the bun. Our music inspires and entertains. It powers festivals and is an integral part of our history and culture. Creating good music takes hours of thought, writing, arranging, recording, and production. When people or businesses who use our music publicly or for commercial gain get a music license, they're not just keeping the law. They're also supporting music creators, producers, musicians, singers, sound engineers, and many others in the music industry. Keep the great music coming. Get a music license for your business place or event. Support music rights. For more information, visit echorights.com. This message is brought to you by Echo and this Echo license station. Echo, Echo, Echo. Protecting music rights. It's my life and I want more. More time, more power. Pay my Lucy Lucilek bill isn't hard. I pay with credit or debit card. Pay direct to Lucy Lucilek my account. I have the power, yeah. Pay online to Lucy Lucilek my account. Anywhere, any day, any hour. Lights are on at home. No more standing in line. No more worrying about my bill. Now I'm all paid up. Got more time to chill, yeah. yeah. Pay my Lucy Lucilek bill isn't hard. I pay with credit or debit card.
Good day guys, my name is Shelson Leslie and I'm part of Cotton Core and I'm in a play called Give Me a Chance. But I'm not here to talk to you about that. I'm from a small fishing village, artistic village called Ansari. We know the importance of keeping the environment clean. The river's clean, the streets clean, stop littering. The river gives life and it is life. Thank you guys. Don't know. Don't know. In the absence of almost three weeks, one would expect that they might forget. We had a weekend rehearsal, and um, I was rather shocked to see that at that rehearsal, people had, didn't forget the lines. Okay, today, today. Oh, oh. Snatch! <laughs> Snatch! Alright, Snatch! Same character. Alice! <laughs> Alright, go. Middle. Middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. When we started rehearsing for this play, um, the crisis had not begun as yet. So it was a lot easier for us to interact. However, with the onset of the crisis, things began to change. Um, we had to implement, of course, the protocols to keep each other safe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I come in straight to the point, eh? Mm -hmm. Bro, what nonsense you told me? I don't know, Alice, okay? My whole life isn't centered on that boy. I have dreams and ambitions of my own, you know. Tony is not the pillar of my life. That boy is ancient history. Why and besides, I don't know where he is. Why are you living so? Because what I just that want meant to was that we had to spend some time away from each other, away from our regular rehearsal space. And that certainly impacted us individually and as a group. Even in that, it was all drama in itself. Because it had a little ups and downs where people had to have problems. But now we consolidate ourselves, we ready to go. Russell, anything? Pardon, man. Anything I get to do, I do it if I say desperate, I say, with anything like drugs? Well, that's if it comes to that, that I do, you know? But why are you watching me so, I say, you don't understand, I say. You think if you was in my shoes, you don't know where I'm coming from, I say. I say, I'm desperate, I say. Returning head, I can definitely see that um, we have lost a little bit of the connectivity that we had prior to um, going home and not being around each other. There's something I just, I just want you to, to just hold me, just, just show me some kind of attention, just, just be there for me, just, just hold me. Don't you? But you don't. You, you just drum your head in your work and. Gloria, where, where is all this coming from? Two people that were missing um, because of circumstances, right? But that didn't affect the rules of the people that was there. What's a life, man? Yo, you have to break down the door, man. If you break down the damn door, we're playing. What's it, you see the door lock? You're some dummy or some retired man. Tony! Tony, open up, please. Ru Ru Ruby? Tony, that's Ruby. I know you inside there. Ru Ru Ruby, Ruby, is that, is that you? Tony? Is that you, Ruby? However, it was easy to get back into the space um, and interact with, peop with the people that I had been interacting with for so long. We didn't have the time to run the play. Uh, but the following Saturday, everybody came and we did that. So I was satisfied uh, and we look forward for a next rehearsal again, to run it again. Hopefully, one will be ready. Lisa, Lisa. Dad Alice. She an affair, but she's a great friend. Now where these buses? Why should never have a sister? Oh, you always in that mood. Yeah, give me that. Oh my God! Oh my God! Uh, please, give me that girl. Please, I don't have anything. What? Girl, just pass that girl. Give me that. Give me that girl. What are you doing, my daughter? What? What? 
you do it? What you do? Oh no, no trailer in there. No trailer in there. On the ground, on the ground. You don't give me that game. You don't give me that game. Wait, now what the f? You want to come and play a hero? No, who wants to come and play a hero? Hey, hey. You take something. I guess I give me that. Give me that. Yes, give me that. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 Why you rob your mother instead? What? Rob your my mother? Some of the protocols have limited us and um, are continuing to limit us. One of the challenges is, in, in light of the COVID, people seem to be very nervous. They don't take chances to come out. The authorities, they respect the arts. Hmm. And it's only when it suits them, they remember. They sometimes frustrate us. <laughs> they even use us for their political thing. Yeah, but, that's you know, as you see that there, I remember sometime, like last week or so, that's what I hear in the news. They say like 60% of the youth, they either involved in sports or the arts or something like that. You know? And that's why you know them politicians? They're making all kind of promises when it's election time. And as soon as they win, they forget about us. That's, and I would always say, it's a bunch of empty promises. Yes, that's For right. example, I'm doing an interview right now and I have a mask on my face. And as an actor, as someone on stage, you always want the audience to be able to feel and part of that is using your body to convey the message. What's your favorite line? Tell me, Daddy. How long? How long will you keep hanging that over my head? Oh my God, just stop! You know what? Oh. I won't even be in your way. The day... The day you walk out of this house... I'm no longer your father. Marcus, why don't you think before you speak? You don't. I don't know you. Oh my goodness! You hear that? Are ready to go? Um, I am excited that we reached the, the point of uh, broadcasting. So I look forward for that. a champion for cultural preservation and development change agent. Established in April 2002 by the CDF Act of 2000 as the agency responsible to align the aspirations of cultural and creative individuals, groups, communities, policy makers and civil society through the implementation of the National Cultural Policy of St. Lucia, we envision a strong, united and proud St. Lucian community empowered by culture and creativity. For more information on how you can partner with CDF on some of our projects and efforts, go to cdfstlucia.org or contact Cultural Development Foundation Barnard Hill Catheries, PO Box CP5405, Call us at 457-9021 or send us a fax at 459-0615. Email us at info at cdfstlucia.org. Here are ways to reduce your plastic bag use. 1. Refuse plastic and take your own reusable bags when you shop. 2. Reuse your single-use plastic bags when you shop until they are no longer fit for the job. 3. Repurpose your plastic bags and use them to line your trash can, paint trays and more. 4. Dispose of your plastic bags by recycling. Shop wisely and reduce, reuse, repurpose and recycle. Every time make one step, we can push those back. And I'm hoping that by Saturday, everybody comes, so we could once and for all finish that project. So in all honesty, I can understand where she's coming from. I don't think these people really understand. I pay so much money for school. I cannot just be squandering my time like that. We did it. Um, it was a lot of hard work, a lot of soul searching. A lot of self-discovery, questioning yourself, like, why the hell am I even doing this in the first place?
It's like a rabbit onesie or like a unicorn. That'd be so awesome. A onesie? Oh. That's so cute. I know, right? It's gonna be so oh, awesome. Oh, this is gonna be on time. It's cute. <laughs> I'm so under the best. So it's kind of bittersweet as we don't get to be with each other anymore. The bond that we, we shared, it, it kind of will, you know, go, go, they separate ways. I mean, yeah, so you see I put the chair here for y'all to mirror that. We're going to get that made. I'm going to do a smaller one. I'm going to get fluffy cushions. So you on the ground, but I'm going to get big cushions for you. And Natasha, I'm not too sure if you're going to do a tall stool or whatever, but everybody's going to be in white. That looks nice for Natasha. Yeah. Nice little slump by it. Yeah, but we have to create levels on the stage. So that's why I always had Natasha a little bit taller than everybody else, right? It was, it was a very good process. It's very exciting. There's hair and makeup and the set is all put up, so it feels much more serious than the rehearsal. I was a bit nervous, so. um, but it's exciting. It's my first time really experiencing all of this, um, so it's very real for me right now. Uh, very interesting experience, um, but uh, it's coming together, so I don't know, I'm just kind of experiencing it myself yeah. and just going with the flow and you know watching the magic happen. Good name. Um, we need to put your hair back. Find a way to make a style so we can because you just need of course you want everybody has to make more than it to share with the audience because it shows when you're doing the full round. You're not getting it at all. But you feel the very good in camera. This is just the first part of the story being told and there's so much room for it to grow. And I'm very into it, I'm very into the process, I'm very into the work, um, the production. Have you ever been, have you ever gotten really quiet when you got mad? Even if you haven't, I'm sure you've seen someone get really quiet when they got mad. I'm sure you might have seen one or both of your parents do that when you were a kid. Oh man, look at mom. Mom is really quiet right now. I bet she's angry. And you could tell, couldn't you? She wasn't yelling at all. She wasn't even raising her voice. But you could tell that she was angry. So we have to bring that same thought process to our work as an actor. When we look at a line, we don't look at it and say, oh, Bob is angry. I'm just going to yell this line. Oh, no. Think about what are the other ways. That it's an amazing feeling. It's a feeling that I get constantly. Every time I get off the stage and my director tells me how good I Performed. Acting is much more than just a memorization contest, right? Some people think that if I can just memorize the script and recite my lines, then I'm an actor. Well, that's just not the case. If there were a hundred steps to becoming a great actor, learning how to memorize lines isn't even step one. Learning how to memorize lines is like step zero or step negative one. You have to be able to do that just to start learning how to become a great actor. So if Learning your lines isn't our job as an actor, then what is? Well, our job is to bring those lines to life. My castmates, um, they are persons that are bubbly. And in addition to that, they also have very strong personalities. Eh? I feel like we should cleanse the space with some prayer. I want a prayer. Stand, please. Okay, so, okay, so let's dance. Stand. Catholic sign yourselves. If you are not Catholic, sign yourself regardless. Gracious and most heavenly Father, we thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus. We made it through this whole COVID-19 pandemic. It has been very worrisome, but we pushed through. Too much. Seeing the cast in their costumes and everything coming together. Um, as I always say, we, we landed out on our feet and we did it did really, really well. So. Yeah, just, just really happy. And I hope St. Lucians like it. I hope the world like it. Yes, it's bittersweet because you'll miss your cast members, you'll miss your rehearsal days. So I will say today was a roller coaster of emotions. More more than the the stuffiness of it. But like, you know how the kind of side thing that we tell you, it's all written to be on my yeah, I've done been ready for it to be over because it's been pushed back on many times. So I just wanted to come and finish already. I, I really, I 
let's just let's just do it. No Wow, amazing. It feels good to be part of a cast who already, who had practiced, who knew what they were about and ready to deliver. And I tell you, we delivered well. And that is what it's all about. Being able to execute what you have been taught and do it in such a good way that I feel in my heart, in my mind, that people are going to look. <laughs> See, as we have our costumes, the set, the cameras, and everything on us today, today was just a vibe. <laughs> Very interesting. I got to play myself, I think, <laughs> which was the interesting part. guys um, look forward to seeing when we do part two coming up in the next episode of curtain call what have i done for you that like